Hi, Amit. Thank you for being here for our second video. Thank you. Hello. Cheers. Good to be here. Okay, good. So this video, we're going to talk about pensions. Can okay. we speak about pensions on the point of view of uh, British expats living in Brazil or Brazilians who had invested in a pension in the UK and now they are living in Brazil? Okay, sure. So basically UK pensions for residents for now tax residents in Brazil, right? Yes, yes. I think that's a consideration. I know many Brazilians, they are living in the UK. They yeah. might be, they consider investing in the pension scheme in the UK, but they think, oh, I'm going back to Brazil anyway. They end up not investing yeah. as much as they could. Or British people who left pensions in the UK and now yeah. they live in Brazil. Uh, can yeah. we speak about this? I know it's a subject sure. many, many people ask. Yeah, no, no, it's very interesting. And it's also, uh, you know, there's a lot of ambiguity about it because pensions have their own set of rules. There are also several types of pensions. Um, as long as you're a Brazilian tax resident, as we've discussed in, uh, in our other videos, um, one is required to uh, consider two declarations. One is the um, IRPF, the Imposta de Renda, the, the standard tax return, whereby all international assets, every asset, but we're talking about international assets here. So a UK pension would have to be declared in the asset section of the tax return. And if over the equivalent of $100,000, that would need to be included in the central bank return. Okay. Yeah. And can you tell us more about uh, the benefits? Can you continue investing in this pension? Um... Sure. What so, would be the benefits of carrying on investing in a UK pension? Would that be a, something to be considered? Sure. So if someone's already taken out a pension, let's say a Brazilian has worked in the UK, they work for a company there and they've come back to Brazil. I know a lot of people in that situation. Uh, or British expats living here um, for you know the short or long term. Um, whether they should continue making contributions the, the, the right answer as a financial advisor is that it's got to be done on a case-by-case -case basis. The advice should be given on a case-by-case -case basis. But generally, pensions are uh, very good, tax-efficient vehicles, especially if their employer is contributing. So let's say someone's come here to Rio to work in an oil company and um, their company continues to make contributions or match their personal contributions or whatever the ratio is. Uh, generally speaking, I recommend that people should prioritize um, contributing to their pension because it's the bedrock of financial planning and it also has some inheritance tax planning benefits as well in the future. Okay. Um, there are, I mean, we could, we could talk about this for hours, really. I mean, there's such a, <laughs> such a broad topic, right? But uh, um, so, yeah, they've got to be declared. Um, there are a lot of advantages to continue investing. The issue is about how will it be treated um, at drawdown when you're drawing income from the pension. Yeah, that tends to be the benefit of investing in the UK for pensions yeah. that you get this lump sum at the end that you can take yeah. or you can just do a drawdown. Um, yeah, that's one of yeah. the benefits of the pension here. But can you talk about that when the person is leaving Brazil and it yeah. comes to a point that they can draw down the pension? Sure. So really, when, when you're looking at somebody in, uh, somebody who's holding a UK pension, the standard method of drawdown is taking out a lump sum of cash, which is usually 25%, and then the rest of that value is used to either purchase an annuity or um, draw the pension down in flexible annual amounts. It depends on what they decide. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that, that really depends on overall income and and that'll determine the taxation in Brazil, or if that individual were to go back to the UK, it'll be the total amount of income being drawn from the pension, okay. which will determine their overall income for the year and how that's treated by either Receita Federal or HMRC in the UK. That's actually a good point. And I do recommend that when the person is approaching retirement age, I speak to a financial advisor and speak to an accountant that understands the peculiarities of taxation for expats. And it may be better that you are tax resident in one country or the other country you make. You can make some decisions on that basis rather than uh, sure. reaching retirement pension, which should take a lump sum and then having a taxation that's not really what you had in mind, what you had planned. 
Sure. Person. There's another it's a point, point as well. It's slightly slightly off topic regarding you know tax and uh, you know uh, financial planning, but some people can consider Brazil as a as a place of residence, long term residence, if they can show that they're financially self sufficient in retirement. So I do know a few people who who have a very you know significant uh, retirement income, and they can demonstrate to uh, uh, to the federal police that they're financially independent and on that basis can help them to obtain a residency. Yeah, I'm sure Brazil is an attractive option, particularly now that the currency is devalued. Well, the currency with the pound, uh, yeah. seven to one. So a pension in the UK goes a lot further in Brazil. Well, let's see what happens after, after Brexit's yeah. finally enforced, this uh, telenovela, right? Let's see what happens there. We're, we're dealing with a lot of moving parts, but yeah, if, Brazil is a great place to, to live uh, and a lot of people come here to retire. So yeah, let's see what okay. happens. Thanks for telling us about pensions and do get in touch if anyone needs help on that sense. Thank you. Yes.